Recently, I made a new type of electric motor for use in electric cars. The electric motors that power the electric cars, they utilize permanent magnets. What if a teenager built a motor that could change the future of electric vehicles? What if he did it with no lab, no degree, and nothing but curiosity and determination? This is the story of Robert Sanson, a 17-year-old Florida student who claims to have created the world's first truly sustainable electric vehicle motor. His idea is bold, his design is unusual, and his inspiration comes from Nikola Tesla himself. But what makes his motor special, and why are some people calling him the new Tesla? Today, we take a closer look at his fascinating creation. The teen inventor behind the motor, Robert lives in Orlando, Florida, a place full of sunshine, theme parks, and tourists. But his world is very different from the noisy streets outside. Instead of spending time at malls or hanging out with friends every day, he prefers being in his room surrounded by wires, magnets, tools, and half-finished experiments. His shelves are packed with notebooks filled with sketches and ideas. He says he has been curious about electricity since he was very young. He took apart old toys just to see what was inside. Later, he began tearing down broken appliances, trying to rebuild them in new ways. His parents did not always understand his projects, especially when sparks flew or parts melted, but they saw his passion and let him explore. Robert has no official training in engineering. He did not attend special science programs or work with professional mentors. Everything he knows comes from online videos, old books, science forums, and long nights of trial and error. He says failure became his best teacher. When something did not work, he wrote down what happened and tried again. Over time, he developed strong problem-solving skills and a deep understanding of how electricity behaves. His admiration for Nikola Tesla grew with each experiment. Tesla's ideas pushed the limits of imagination, and Robert wanted to follow the same path. This mindset helped him stay motivated, even when things were difficult. His journey from curious kid to young inventor shows that passion can turn into skill when a person does not give up. Building the Tesla Coil Motor Robert named his invention the Tesla Coil Motor, or TCM. He says the idea came from studying Tesla's coil and imagining how its principles could be adapted for motion rather than only high voltage output. He had no access to advanced tools or workshops, so he used what he had. His 3D printed parts came from a small budget printer at home. He printed them slowly, piece by piece, adjusting the designs every time something cracked or did not fit. The coils were hand-wound with copper wire he bought from hardware stores. The rotor was made from a steel piece he salvaged from an old appliance. Because he lacked expensive equipment, he relied heavily on creativity. He built homemade testing fixtures from wood and plastic. His prototypes shook violently, overheated or barely turned at all. But each failure showed him what to fix. He noticed how the coil alignment changed the magnetic field. He discovered how the spacing between magnets affects torque. He learned how resonance could boost power when the voltage and frequency matched perfectly. Slowly, the motor began to run smoothly and strongly. When he finally built a working version, he tested it again and again using handheld meters and a laser tachometer. He compared it with a permanent magnet motor and a synchronous reluctance motor that he ordered online. His prototype consistently showed higher torque and better efficiency, even though it used simpler materials. He was excited that it did not rely on rare earth magnets, which are costly and environmentally harmful to mine. This meant his motor could be cheaper and greener. At this point, he realized he might have created something truly special, winning the world's biggest science competition. Encouraged by friends and teachers, Robert entered the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, also called ICEF. It is known as the largest science competition for students, a place where the world's brightest young minds gather to present new ideas. More than 1,800 students arrive annually from 80 countries, bringing inventions ranging from medical devices to robotics to clean energy systems. Robert prepared for weeks. He documented everything carefully. Design decisions, prototype changes, test results, energy measurements, and performance comparisons. 
He created charts, diagrams, and explanations that showed how his motor worked. When he arrived at the competition, he stood among students who had access to university labs and advanced equipment. But what stood out about Robert was not the size of his project, but the depth of his understanding. He explained complex ideas with clarity and confidence. Judges asked him tough questions about efficiency, materials, and physics, and he answered each one thoughtfully. He showed not just numbers, but logic behind those numbers. His enthusiasm reinforced his presentation. The judges awarded him the George D. Yankopoulos Innovator Award, which is ICEF's highest honor. This top prize came with $75,000 and recognition on a global stage. Many finalists dream of winning, but few do. Robert was both shocked and grateful. He thanked his family for supporting him and his teachers for encouraging him. After the event, his story spread quickly. Media outlets published articles about him. Podcasts invited him to speak. Videos about his motor gained thousands of views. People admired the fact that a teenager with no formal training had built a functioning motor from scratch that outperformed commercial ones. How the motor works and why it stands out. Robert explains that his motor works differently from standard electric motors. Traditional motors use a commutator or a specific power source to manage the current. His motor does not rely on those parts. Instead, it uses a special arrangement of coils and magnets that creates a rotating magnetic field inside the stator. The rotor follows this field naturally, producing motion. The most unusual part is the feedback system he built. It takes a portion of the output and feeds it back into the system at a higher voltage and frequency. When these signals match perfectly, they create resonance. Resonance increases the energy transfer efficiency and reduces losses. Robert says this resonance effect boosts performance so much that the motor generates more electricity than it consumes. He claims he measured the input and output several times and always found a surplus. He used that extra electricity to power lights, fans, and even speakers. If his measurements are accurate, this would challenge traditional views of energy efficiency. However, experts say such claims require rigorous scientific verification. They acknowledge that strong resonance can create impressive boosts in performance, but they want controlled tests to confirm the exact energy flow. Still, experts praise his design. The motor is small, light, and simple. It does not depend on rare materials. Its power-to-weight ratio is high, meaning it produces a lot of force for its size. It runs smoothly with low noise. Few moving parts mean less wear and longer life. These strengths alone make it worth studying. Even if some claims require further testing, his invention is already noted for its creativity and potential in electric vehicles. Many engineers say innovation often begins with such bold ideas, investors, public reaction, and the growing buzz. As Robert's story spread, investors in the clean energy sector became curious. They invited him to private meetings to explain how the motor worked and how it could be scaled for real-world use. Robert presented his prototype, described his testing process, and shared his long-term vision. His clarity and passion impressed some investors. They liked that the motor could reduce costs and environmental impact. They saw potential in vehicles, generators, and renewable energy systems. But investors also needed proof. They wanted third-party testing, industrial-grade prototypes, and repeatable data. Robert understood their concerns and welcomed deeper research. Online, reactions were mixed but powerful. Many people celebrated him as the new Tesla. They admired his determination and creativity. They said he represented the next generation of inventors who would shape the future of clean technology. Others were skeptical. They questioned whether his energy claims violated the laws of physics. Some argued that more peer-reviewed research was needed. But even critics acknowledge that his creativity and engineering skills at such a young age were impressive. As discussions continued, something important happened. More engineers, scientists, and innovators began paying attention. They saw a young mind pushing boundaries. They saw a design that challenged assumptions and encouraged deeper exploration. Even if some claims needed testing, the motor had sparked curiosity worldwide. 
That impact alone is significant. Robert's story inspires students, hobbyists, and creators everywhere to experiment boldly, think differently, and believe in their ideas. Robert's journey shows what passion, patience, and creativity can build. He started with simple tools and a big idea, and he turned that idea into a working prototype that gained worldwide attention. His motor may still face questions and testing, but it has already inspired many people. It shows that innovation does not always begin in high-tech labs. Sometimes it begins in a teenager's room with a few wires and a dream. If you enjoyed this story, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more stories about young inventors shaping tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.